This is the best way to keep your tortoise warm at night. So I get a lot of questions about this. I have my assistant, my husband is going to help me remove everything. So at night we cover them up with the tarp during the winter. And the tarp, even though the house is insulated, the tarp, sometimes two tarps, help to further insulate his house. So he's gonna take that off for him. <laughs> <laughs> and then the doors also help insulate, right, sweetie? Yeah, and then the plastic good. flaps right here. Mm -hmm. And then this is really important as well. This is a handheld infrared heat temperature gauge. So we're going to spy on Tilly G. Poor guy, we're going to wake him up. It's nighttime. There he is, the big boy. Okay, so this is important. The important thing is that he's on a heat mat right there. It's made especially for big tortoises, and I highly recommend this one that he's using. And then uh, let's check his temperature. He's 81.5, perfect. He's nice and cozy and warm. Every minute that we have his house open though, we're cooling it down. There's his temperature gauge, his hygrometer. You want high humidity. That's the secret to stop pyramiding. There's also what's called a ceramic heat emitter. I don't turn these on. This one's not on at night. I use it to warm up his house. This is a ceramic heat emitter that's in a heat lamp. And the reason why I like these, I don't like the red bulbs because the red bulbs will keep them up at night and they break and they shatter all over the place. So this is a really sturdy ceramic heat emitter. Um, and it's important that you turn it off. I turn it off at night. It also is important that it is at least 12 to 14 inches above your tortoise because you, yes, you can burn their shell, especially if you have a UVB sunlight. I don't need sunlight because we get plenty of sunshine here in Los Angeles, California. We get tons of it. Here's another heat lamp, but I don't really use this one either. Um, I use it just to warm up his house to a nice 80 degrees. Then I turn it off, turn off everything. Oh, you guys want to see this. This is a webcam that I use. I love it. It's a motion detector webcam, night vision. So it tells me every time he moves and when he moves, it notifies me. It's connected to my iPhone. It gives me an alert. It says he's on the move or he even like, even if he just moves a little leg, Okay, so you guys also wanted to see the cords. The cords are very important. Um, the cord there for his heat mat, there's also a hole that my husband <laughs> drilled. <laughs> see, there's a hole. Because this cord, you don't want them getting caught up in the cords. Also, there's another cord for his heat lamp. You can see it's on a hook right here. It goes up and out the little window. These cords are also on a hook. They go out towards the back and then they go out the window. All the cords are here. They're on a, what is it called? Extension cord? No, what is that strip? Power strip? What is that called? Power yeah, strip. power strip. Um, that's a then box. a plastic shoe box for when it does rain here, it never rains. And then we've got them on hooks to secure it. Blackout shades. <laughs> Look it, it's like winter. I'm in flip-flops and a dress, <laughs> sundress. My husband's in flip-flops. He's in shorts. I'm in a dress. <laughs> Can you tell we're in Los Angeles? Um, and then the temperature gauge and the hygrometer, that temp it's really important that it's not too humid. I mean, not too dry, you want humidity. And that's it. We're going to close it up for now because we're waking up the big guy. But let's check his temperature real quick one last time. 79. See, he's going down the longer we have this open. Look at his heat mat, though. I love this heat mat in particular because it's got a safety feature. I know it's hotter than that. Usually his heat mat's about 100 degrees. 91. See, that's why he loves it. And the important thing I forgot to mention is that you have to have a hot side or a warm side and a cool side. Um, disregard the poops. Yes, they do poop in the house. You got to clean it up every day. So it's really important that you have a, a warm side. You need a gradient of temperatures to allow them to go from the hot side to the cool side at their convenience. Okay, that's really important. The lid, the enclosure has to have a lid. Oh. 
and my husband wants to show you the cords off the ground, off off the the ground out of the way of the puppies and Tilly G. Oh, this one looks a little low, doesn't it, sweetie? Yep. Sometimes they get a little low and we try to get them as high as possible and out of the way. So this is what all the cords are secure here and out of the way, enough room for Tilly G and the puppies. And then once we do that, so all of his, uh, so his house is about, he was what, 80 degrees? Um, so we close up these plastic flaps, also really important, they keep the humidity in. Look how we've had to widen the door. He's a big boy. Um, plastic flaps are important. This door is important to keep the heat in. I do not lock the door because if he wants to come out, he never does at night, but if he wants to, he can. And then we cover it with a tarp during winter. Now during the summer, I take all heating elements out during the, win during the summer. Um, but during the winter, you know, when it gets chilly, we will cover it up with a tarp and put back his friends. For so too. hopefully, it gets windy. oh yeah, it gets windy here. We just had the Santa Ana winds. Um, although, you know, we're in SoCal, so he's in his flip flops and then I'm in my dress. And um, here, I'll show you my view. <laughs> yes, I'm in a dress. <laughs> it's a 90, it's a nightgown. Okay, all right, it is. <laughs> anyway, I'm delirious. Um, it was just a beautiful, sunny, warm day, and it really makes me happy. And so I've gotten a lot of requests for this. And so that's it. That's my secret for keeping Tilly G warm all winter long. Yep, it's uh, nighttime, and it's beautiful. And that's how I keep him warm. And the secret to a happy tortoise, one of these guys is warmth and humidity. And then also the secret really to uh, stop pyramiding is humidity. Let's see. Do, 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 do. So unless you live someplace like Florida or Los Angeles where it's winter and like it was 70 degrees today, you'll need to do this and more to keep your tortoise very warm all winter long. Thank you so much for following. Please be sure to, oops, sorry, like and subscribe. All the items that I mentioned today, including this infrared handheld, all the lights, the heat mats, even his house, even these tortoises up here, they're all, you can find them on my Instagram page. Um, if you look at the link in my bio, it's got a link to all of these items. Hopefully this helps. Feel free to uh, ask me any questions in the comments and I'll be sure to answer. Thanks. Have a good evening.